Hey everyone, welcome back to The Silver Lining here on YouTube, or welcome if you're new. I'm Sarah, and we're going to be continuing on my 40 bags in 40 days journey this year during Lent. And today we're tackling what's behind door number one. It's the basement. <laughs> the storage room. It looks worse than it is because there's not a lot of matching containers. This area over here is where I like to do a lot of my gift wrapping. So this is what I call the workbench. So it needs to be cleaned off. There's some stuff left over from Christmas. This huge monster is a treadmill. And that is going to be the first thing to go. We got it probably about a year ago and it just has never worked. We got it for free. In, um, instead of trying to figure out how to get it to work, we've just decided that we are going to get rid of it. And then this side, we did shelving several years back. It's been working out pretty well. And then this bag here is one that's on its way out. It's actually full of things that I was gonna put in a clothing donation bin. All of this stuff is ready for either the resale shop or donation. But this bag in particular is one now that I have been adding to because there's an organization near me that will take any kind of clothing, ratty clothing, um, pieces of material even, and the organization takes the material and the clothing to an Amish community and the Amish community will make rag rugs out of them. So that seems like the perfect place to go with something like that. So really, a lot of the stuff up here is organized, just needs to be gone through a little bit. We have our dry storage. There is some games and stuff down here. There's some games. And this little tykes desk is on its way out. That's literally just where it's been being stored for the moment. And over here is not something that I'm gonna mess with, but that's where all my Christmas stuff gets stored. And I can link a Christmas video where I took down all my Christmas stuff and put it away if you're interested in seeing that type of organization. But this is quite an undertaking, but it's one of those places, again, that's sort of behind closed doors and the only people that can really feel it are us that live in the house but it does makes such a big difference to know that your storage areas are clear and have some breathing room so that you know that when you have other things to store throughout the year, you have space to do it. And right now I'm feeling like we don't have much space to do that. So let's jump into this decluttering project. I started over here in the smallest corner of the room, at least in my head it was the smallest corner. It's a single shelf versus most every other area in the basement has at least two shelves next to each other. This has some of our hot tub stuff, but clearly I underestimated how much unnecessary <laughs> things we had shoved on these shelves over here. I didn't even remember putting those storage bins in that box. And then you'll see me struggle to get this huge box off of the shelf, which turns out to be a coffee pot that we had replaced from the company because it was broken and it was under warranty. And I thought my husband had sent it back and I guess he never did. <laughs> and it was in a huge box in the basement. So anyways, then you'll see me taking that out because it's going in the trash and the box was a good size so i kept that aside so i could put other things in there that were going to be donated or sent to the consignment shop near me i'm just kind of touching everything in the basement i just want to make sure that i know where things are and that everything fits where it goes and there's nothing shoved into places where it shouldn't be
Part of getting this area organized is not only cleaning things up that don't belong there, but also wrapping the items that I have to wrap for upcoming birthdays. My youngest niece and my nephew both have birthdays in April as well as my oldest daughter. And so I have some of their gift items sitting on this workbench ready to wrap. So I get those wrapped and ready and then push them aside so that they're out of the way as I continue to clear off the space. Another big part of going through this gift space and my workbench where, like I said, I like to do my gift wrapping is going through extra gifts. Some people have a gift closet. I have a couple of gift bins and it's just items that I find throughout the year that I might put in these bins that I'm thinking that would be good for someone. And it's really bad and I've gotten better over the years of not just buying things because I think someone may like it come Christmas time or at a birthday, but I'm still kind of going through all the items that I've collected throughout the years. And I finally just went through and I thought, I'm just going to purge some of these things because now they're out of date or I'm not going to gift them to anyone or whoever I thought was going to like it I don't remember anymore so I did get rid of some of that stuff let me know in the comments if you too have a gift closet or a gift cabinet or someplace where you keep extra gifts surely can't be the only one I feel like it's kind of like a junk drawer like everyone does it They say everything has to get worse before it gets better. <laughs> I am feeling good about all the inventory that I know I have now along these shelves and along these shelves. I feel happy to have those gifts wrapped and now I just need to rehome <laughs> and get rid of all of this stuff on the floor. Thank goodness the treadmill isn't in here because this would not fit. <laughs> this is a huge bag of donation this is resale shop this is trash and these two items are resale shop as well sometimes it just feels good to get rid of the extra storage containers <laughs> and this is only one side of the basement so I can't remember exactly when it was when we added all these shelving units and basically did a whole overhaul on our basement. It feels like maybe it was four or five years ago, but it's probably been longer than that because you know what they say, time flies when you're having fun. So I will be honest and tell you that I didn't really think that there was going to be as much to declutter as what I have been getting <laughs> out of the basement. So just by touching everything and going through each bin, which there aren't a ton of bins, we don't have a huge storage area in our house, but just touching everything 
and going through all the bins is so helpful in just knowing my personal inventory. For example, I didn't even know I had this mattress cover and I'm super pumped because it's in such better shape than the one that's on one of my daughter's beds right now. <laughs> so I'm happy to get that washed and get that put on her bed for her. <laughs> On this day, I am getting the play school desk out of underneath of the stairs. Simultaneously with my 40 bags in 40 days decluttering video, I started on a refresh to my upstairs living room and went through a lot of the toys that are up there with my daughter. So I had made a plan to go to the local mommy and me resale shop to get rid of some of her items. So that's what I'm getting ready to do on this day. But what you'll actually see is me getting ready to go to my regular consignment shop appointment. I've got this shelf here, which is actually from the living room. But yesterday I brought the desk to a local kids resale shop. So I've got the shelf, this box of miscellaneous stuff from the basement. <clears throat> I've got this storage bin with the drawers, another box right there of some miscellaneous, and another storage unit thing that I brought up from the basement. So, one, two, three, four. Count the shelf as four. Five. This pile of clothes will count as six. And I actually got at least two bags of trash from down in the basement. So we have exceeded our 40 bags in 40 days. And man, does this feel good. On this day, I am just kind of putting things back in order. Like I said, I was simultaneously working on my upstairs living room and we went through a bunch of toys and basically did a nice room refresh. If you aren't already, be sure to uh, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss that video. But I am bringing some of the toys that I want to keep and I store them in a big bin. It's not very many, but there are some that I just wanna hold on to because I think that they will be classic style toys. Now I'm just getting some of the shelves in order. It's getting things a little bit more tidied up and organized. Like I said, I just want to touch everything so I know what is where. Quick update. I have touched everything and gone through everything over here. I have three bags here that are going to the Amish community that I had mentioned before. I have, that's an empty box for canning jars that's going to my grandma's. This is getting ready to go to the resale shop next week. These two boxes, I'm actually bringing to Easter for my aunt and my cousin to go through. But everything is cleared off. Everything has a space. My workbench is back to being cleared up, which feels really nice and usable. Um, I got rid of that desk back there, so even though it's a dark hole, it's cleaned out. And then, of course, I had mentioned before that I did not touch my Christmas stuff. But, oh, I want to get that and put that in my resale shop box. But I usually go through my Christmas stuff each year when I'm putting it up. And if I don't use it that year, then I make... A resale shop run so all in all everything is feeling really really good now it's time for my favorite part the before and after side by side so I can see exactly how much work I've actually put in it's super gratifying and like I said it feels so good 
Thank you all so much for being here. I hope that this offered you some inspiration, some motivation. Leave me a thumbs up on your way out. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss a future video. Thanks again. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.